out at my dad's house. This is his 2010 uh, Nissan Titan. Y'all remember this bad boy right here. You know, the Ford Ranger got me through that difficult week and a half in September when my truck was acting up. And I'm out with my 93 Chevy 2500 with my trailer set up how I typically set it up when I go out to do my daily jobs. The only difference is I got two uh, spreaders on there. I usually take one. And so I'm about to get into this video for y'all. I've been waiting to put it together, but now I think I'm ready to do it. So let's get to this video. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Byron, AKA the Motown Hustler, AKA the Grass Assassin. This is gonna be my 2021 lawn care video, lawn care setup. And uh, I'm probably gonna end up making a part two of this because even though I have pretty much all the equipment that I plan on using this season, I don't have everything con configured the way that I want it configured to make it more, uh, most efficient that it can be. So I'm gonna start you off with uh, white lightning, which I started my business with five five years ago. The 2006 Dodge Ram 1500 has over 312,000 miles on it. And even though it has some, it needed some maintenance this year, I, I still feel like it's gonna go, go pretty strong this year. I got the uh, 1993 Chevrolet 2500. I ended up getting this uh, 1993 2500 for for 3000, and I got that because my Ram had uh, started having problems, and uh, I had to put it in the shop for a while, and I had to. Uh, and when I didn't have a backup truck, I had to borrow my um, dad's uh, 2004 Ranger. And so I had to hold on to that for about a, a week and a half to two weeks while my Ram was in the shop. So from that point on, I, I started looking for a backup truck. And the reason I went with the 2500 is because it has a higher uh, payload capacity and towing capacity than my uh, Dodge Ram. So, you know, ultimately going into this 2021 uh, lawn care season, the 2500 is actually going to be my primary vehicle. And I'm going to use the uh, Dodge Ram as a backup. I want to I wanna show you all the inside of my truck, how I got it set up, you know, the to help me with uh, see right here I got my two bags set up over here uh, if I fold that forward I can get to my door hangers right there and uh, I typically keep my my GoPro and this is this is the cover for my spreader you know and a couple more door hangers in front, it's my, my toolbox, another tool bag, goes to show you that I'm typically solo, there's no room for nobody else but me, you know, so that's how I get down, and my other truck is pretty much set up similar fashion, my uh, door hangers are in my a metal uh, notepad, a couple of log books, um, lunch bag, and an additional bag. It doesn't have anything in it right now, but you know, try to stay organized. And on the back of this truck, I have this 200 gallon spray rig which is what I what I need to reconfigure. I want to have the uh, real 
facing the uh, uh, sideways on it. And I kind of want it configured in a more of a space saver type of uh, configuration. And on top of that, I want it placed on my 1993 Chevy 2500. And I still have, I still have my 100 gallon water tank. And I just said it out bad to make room on the back of my truck for the things that I currently are in need of. Oh, and something that I may not have shown y'all in previous videos is my smoker. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, self lung surgeon, watch out. I'm out here smoking too. Just not today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do a video when I'm out here doing my, my smoking thing. I take it, take it pretty serious. That's my other smoker. I can be out here tearing it down. Tearing it down. All right. I still have the five horsepower Honda motor for the uh, 100 gallon spray rig build that I may or may not complete, but I still have that. I got my um, computer set up so that I can do my scheduling and my, my building and updating that, all my information in QuickBooks and Yardbook and Facebook <laughs> and all the books. So, to get to the mowers, oh, before the, before the mowers, uh, I am gonna put this uh, 25 gallon spray rig. This is gonna be the one that's gonna sit on my Dodge Ram. Uh, so, now to the mowers. First of all, I got my Great Dane Gateway 52 inch mower. I really should have considered pulling this stuff out of the garage, but I really wasn't feeling it and plus it's wet outside. So y'all gonna have to uh, cut me some slack and kind of deal with what I got going on here. But uh, it has the a 20 horsepower Kohler Command engine on it. It's the only more I have that is the electric start. And uh, I would like to tell y'all how many hours is on this bad boy, but the hour meter is not opera, is not working right now. So, but uh, I got this particular mode because it's capable of backing up uh, each one of my primary modes, the 36 inch mower it can back up because uh the side of the deck flips up uh, to the width of about 36 inches and uh and since it's a 52 inch uh cut it can back up my 48 inch which i'm gonna talk about next my 48 inch uh, toro pro lines my favorite mower that i currently have it just lays down the best cut. Um, it has like five, I want to say 533 hours on it. And I just, I just love the way this small cut. So uh, it's simple to use. It's, just, it's not complicated at all. So I um, had this for about three years. I, I got this more for used for about a thousand dollars and that's the same price I got the Great Dane for, a thousand dollars. And uh, my next mower is the 36 inch Hustler Trim Star. It has 355 hours on it. It has the uh, Kawasaki uh, uh, 15, 15 horsepower Kawasaki on it, the same as my um, my Toro, they have the same type of motor on it. So this one cuts like it has more power since it's not, since the deck is not as wide as the other deck. But for some reason, that Toro still lays down a better cut than, than uh, my trim store. At least uh, that's the way I feel about it. They both do, do real good. 
Um, as far as my trimmers, I have two Echo PAS 225s, one with the uh, trimmer attachment on it and the one with the edger attachment on it. Sorry about that, my battery on my GoPro died, so I'm switching over to my phone. Um, I have uh, the Echo PAS 225s, you know, one with the weed trimmer attachment, one with the edge attachment. I have my Ryobi, a two cycle. It currently has the pole saw attachment on it. I use it for all my tree trimming and my, and my hedge trimming work. I have a hedge trimming attachment that I use with it. And let's get to the blowers. Okay, let's start with my backup blower, which is the Red Max EBZ 5100. And I have my Husqvarna HD one, what is it, 125? It's my hair handheld. Um, this is what uh, the one that I use when I'm really in a pinch and my primary and my backup has gone down. Um, while I'm over here, this is my eight gallon uh, sprayer, electric sprayer that uh, originally I was going to use it as an insert into one of my push spreaders uh, so that I could operate it as a push sprayer. But once I got uh, both of these spray rigs, I didn't see it as being a need for that. So, yeah, so since I got both spray rigs, I didn't see no need to, uh, to use this as an insert. So now I'm going to use this as a water tank for when I do wash uh wash vehicles you know which i don't do that much of but occasionally if if it's slow if i want to get out there and, and make a few extra dollars then you know i pull this uh water tank out wash some vehicles use my uh rigid spray back to um, do the do the insides and I got a couple of other pieces of equipment that I use when I'm doing uh, my car washing and detailing thing. So, and so to get to my primary blower, Lord have mercy, I got the Echo PB770T. And that thing is a beast. I love it so much. Not much to say about it. I spoke about it in my last uh, setup video, but it's still going strong. And right here, I have my backpack solo sprayer. And that's what I was using primary last year. I don't think I'm going to have to use it that much this year since I have the spray rigs. But uh, I will use it when uh, if I run out of holes as far as having to spray a larger yard. And then that, that's, that's the application for that. And then I have my two... Pump, pump sprayers. This particular one right here, my Roundup sprayer, is what I use for my non-selective herbicides. And uh, this particular two gallon is what I use for a selective mix. And I don't think I'm gonna have to use that one that much. I think I'm gonna transition that one over to maybe doing either uh, for funguses uh, or uh, 
for for bugs. So, uh, and I got my Agrafab 125 pound commercial spreader for my granulars. And since I'm not gonna use this one as a push sprayer, this is just gonna be a backup spreader. So I can pretty much dedicate one to one truck and one to the other truck. And I won't have to uh, flip them around. So, and let me see what else. Is there anything else? I have my wheelbarrow. I don't do a lot of landscaping, but it's there if I need it. Uh, I got my uh, accelerator bagger so that I have the capability of bagging yards. If I need to. I have this small Scott spreader that I that I currently only use for my yard now. And I got this the bowling 21 inch, crabman 21 inch, and a cup cadet 20 inch. And I don't I don't use these molds at all in them. I'm going to sell them or just just get them out of my garage so they don't take up so much space. So, and I think that's pretty much my whole setup. My rakes and shovels are on the back of the truck. And that's, that's it. So, yeah, I hit the like button, uh, notification, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, and we're going to keep pushing. Keep on pushing. Hey, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. Some of y'all may already know this, some may not, but when it comes to smoking and grilling, if you line the bottom of that thing with the aluminum foil, and you got them aluminum pans. That cleanup is a breeze. And uh, it keeps your, your grill and your smoker from resting out. So, so as y'all can tell, it's, it's been a minute. And this one has, it's rain, it rained out here. So the rain that came through the uh, grill was was caught up in this aluminum pan so if I was to remove all these everything I got inserted in here you see this the grill is in good shape so and that's that's how you make these these cheap grills last and that's how you keep them expensive grills in good shape.